What is up, bros and brats? I am Ink Slasher, and I am so excited to make this video. Today, it seems like we have our very first legit news about Call of Duty 2017. No more speculation, no more rumors, none of that crap. This seems to be the real deal. Now, I've got many reasons why I believe that this is going to be the real thing, and we'll talk about those throughout the video. And if I was a betting man, I'm about 95% sure that this leak is real, and about 5% thinking maybe not. And I'll talk about all of those reasons why throughout this video. But first things first, let's look at these images and actually look at what Call of Duty 2017 is going to be. So as probably all of you know by now, the next Call of Duty game is speculated to be called Call of Duty World War II. Now, this image that you're looking at here is the first one that's kind of like the poster image for this game. Now there's a couple of other ones of these where you just see some kind of general World War II images with the logo Call of Duty World War II, but then there is also some other images that seem to be some game cases. Now the only thing I'm not sure about this is generally speaking they have one steel case. One steel case for the Call of Duty game per year, yet we are seeing images of maybe three or four different types of steel cases. So whether these are just some ideas of what the developers are wanting to put out for the steel case for the game, maybe that that's the thing. I'm not 100% sure about that though. But the thing with these images, and one of the main reasons why I think they're real, is that these other images, like the individual images of the World War II areas or anything like that, aren't existent. And what I mean by that is there's this thing you can do with Google called a reverse image search, where basically you put the image in and Google searches for that image. All of the images that you're looking at here don't exist. They're not taken from something. So they're not a picture that's taken and photoshopped. They are something that someone actually created. So one of two things had to happen. Either they found an image that's very, very unpopular and then they took that and photoshopped it, or they literally took it and painted or created that entire image. And I think that that's very, very unlikely. So I actually have two more reasons why I believe this leak is real. And the first one is actually a couple of quotes from a couple different people, including one of them being Michael Condry, about this Call of Duty game. So back in 2015, there was an interview with the Activision CEO. And the question that the Activision CEO was asked is, do you ever see future titles of Call of Duty games going back to the World War II era? And all that Activision CEO said is that is certainly possible. So if that wasn't going to happen ever he would have just denied it he would have said that's never going to happen but the certainly possible answer leaves some room for creativity but the one that is a lot more interesting in my head took place in 2014 so this next quote is absolutely mind-blowing for a couple of reasons so first of all this interview was taken from GameSpot with one of the lead developers at sledgehammer games michael condry i'm sure you've heard his name before and basically this interview took place the day after the day after call of duty advanced warfare came out and basically in this interview they were talking about the future of call of duty as a next gen game and this is the exact quote that michael condry gave i think a next generation game with the latest production values and robustness in a world wars 2 settings like band of brothers would be amazing that is the exact quote taken the day after Advanced Warfare came out. So I don't know if Michael Condry had the idea of making a World War II next-gen Call of Duty game literally before even Advanced Warfare came out, but that quote really, really supports this whole idea of Call of Duty World War II being the Call of Duty 2017 game. So that's pretty mind-blowing if you ask me. So before we move on to the final point that I really think proves that this leak is real, I just want to point out something with that quote. So in that quote, Michael Condry said that he wants to make the story almost like a Band of Brothers-esque style story. And with that, if you've never seen Band of Brothers, go drop everything you're doing right now and go check that out because it's one of the best TV series of all time. But what I was thinking is that if this happens, if Call of Duty World War II is the next Call of Duty game, it will be the first next generation game to actually possibly have a D-Day mission in it since old, old games. Like, I don't remember playing a D-Day mission in a very long time in game. And to see that with next gen graphics, blood, gore, all of that kind of stuff in a Call of Duty game really, really excites me. And this may be one of the best Call of Duty campaigns we have ever seen if this is the real game. And finally, the final burden of proof that I think really proves that this is going to be the next Call of Duty game. The donkey that broke the camel's back. That's not the saying. 
What the hell is that saying? The straw that broke the camel's back, that's right, I had to Google that saying, is the actual person that leaked this information. So the person that leaked this information is actually the person that leaked the original info about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And of course, we now know that he was 100% correct about that. And what he leaked then was the actual cover of the game. So he kind of has a track record of being correct with the leaks that he provides for Call of Duty games. So I wouldn't be at at all surprised if this is 100% true because the guy that released it himself even has a track record of releasing true information about Call of Duty. So there's actually one other thing I wanted to point out in regards to the guy who actually leaked these. So originally this was not leaked on Reddit. I know everyone got this information through Reddit, but originally it was not leaked through Reddit. The guy who leaked these actually sent it out to a few random people via email. Now one of these people that actually got this information was T. Martin, and if you don't believe me I don't talk to the guy but he actually tweeted out saying I've been sitting on these images for a couple hours now was going to make the video tomorrow which means he knew he had this proof before anyone else so assumably someone or the guy who leaked it actually sent him these images so there were also other videos on YouTube showing images of people's emails receiving these pictures in their emails from some anonymous account before these images were actually out on reddit so I don't know what you want to take from that I don't know if these people including T Martin know the guy or not but I really really strongly believe whoever this guy is has some insider information about Call of Duty and just wanted to leak these images early but you can let me know what you think down in the comment section below do you think this is real I certainly do do you think it's bullshit I am so excited for this and the reason why I'm so excited is the original game that got me into Call of Duty was Call of Duty World at War so to see another Call of Duty come out that's a World War II game really really excites me but like I said let me know what you think down in the comments are you stoked for this game already like me do you hate it let me know what you think down in the comments also if you're new to the channel it'd be fantastic if you hit that subscribe button I tried to make this video as informative as possible so like I said if you enjoyed it would be really appreciated if you hit that like button but thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed and until next time peace out